are important. Now look at Luke chapter 10 because another thing when it comes to delegating responsibility is you have to have priorities in your life. Priorities. Like the apostles, they had a priority. They said, we're not going to leave the word of God so that we can serve tables. We got to get our priorities right here. Okay. So we got to delegate some menial things so that we can do that which is truly important. Okay. Look what the Bible says in Luke chapter 10, verse 38. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house and she had a sister called Mary which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Bitter therefore that she helped me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. And Mary hath chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. So Mary here has the right priority, according to Jesus. Martha does not have the right priority. Now Mary's priority was to listen to the words of Jesus Christ. That was important to her. This is not an opportunity that she's going to get every day. Jesus is not always going to be with her. He's traveling all over the place, doing tons of soul winning. He's, doing, uh, he's preaching here, preaching there. His ministry only lasted for three and a half years. This is a special opportunity. I mean, if you were there, knowing what you know now, would you want to be in the kitchen cooking or would you want to be sitting at the feet of Jesus listening to him teach? So obviously Mary chose the right thing here. That's what Jesus said. And what we can learn from this is that we need to make sure and prioritize that we're reading our Bible. Because that's basically the equivalent of what Mary's doing, listening to the Word of God, listening to Christ. So we need to make sure that we make time. Oh, I'm just too busy to read my Bible. You know what? It's time to prioritize differently. Oh, I'm just too busy to get to church and listen to the preaching. Hey, time to get different priorities. Oh, I'm too busy to ever go soul winning. I'm too busy to pray. I'm too busy to do this. You need to restructure and prioritize. And maybe that might involve delegating some responsibility of some other, because you can't delegate your Bible reading. I can't tell my wife, hey, would you read my Bible for me? Can you go ahead and, and you know, no, no, no you got to read the Bible for yourself. Hey, can you go to church for me as my proxy, as my ambassador, as my representative? I'm going to stay home and caught, get caught up in some work around the house. No, you need to be there. And so we need to get our priorities right. We need to decide what's really important in our lives, and we need to make time for what's important. Make time for what's important. And here we see, of course, that the Word of God is important. 